Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Happy 4th of July. We got ourselves a tutorial video and it's going to be focusing on flip resets and double flip resets. So I haven't done a tutorial in a while and I decided to do a uh, popular mechanic because people love wanting to know how to do these effectively. So I will do my best to teach you guys. I have made a double flip reset tutorial a while ago. I think it's actually my most viewed video on this channel so um if you guys want to check that out then you guys can you can just go on like the filter and put like most viewed or something like that i think it'll show up so without further ado let's get into it so in order to do a flip reset you need to have an understanding of at least getting comfortable hitting the ball or getting to the ball off the wall or just in general even if it's off the ground so for example you have to get used to the ball, like, well, getting to the ball like this, right? That's the first step, right? If you don't know how to hit the ball in the air, you can't do this. So, if you can, that's good. So, first is the setup, right? You got to get this down because if you can't get the first touch right, it's just going to screw everything up and you're not going to have a good lead into the shot. So, um, what I like to do is I roll the ball at a pretty good pace. I stay behind it. And I break a little bit, right? You'll see when I break. I'll say when I break too. Ready? Break. So I just tap the ball lightly. Not doing it too hard. You know, I'm not doing this. You know, that's too hard. See how it hits the ceiling? That's no good. You don't want that. So you don't want to hit it too hard. So that comes with practice. You can't always get it 100% of the time. Especially when the ball is already moving too quick. It's going to be really challenging. But all in all, though, if the ball is moving relatively slow, like this, you can just break a little bit. The reason why you break is because you need distance from the ball. Now, you can do one without breaking like this. You know, it is possible. See, I got the flip reset, but it's just kind of awkward. So, um, you need to do it with some space. So, when you get some space, you can jump. And when you do that, right, you have space. It's easier to actually... It's kind of easier to get the flip reset because when you go too close, you have less time to react to the, you know... You have less time to actually do what you want. And obviously when you have less time, then there's more prone to errors. So just give yourself some space. So after you give yourself some space, you jump. And you only air roll just a little bit, right? Only air roll until you see your car points the ball like that. That's it. All you need to do is just let go of the, of the, um, the air roll. So again, turn, stop. That's literally it. As you can see, this isn't really that demanding in terms of any button mashing or anything, right? Realistically, every single mechanic in this game is pretty much non-taxing in terms of button mashing, right? This isn't um like a fighting game where you have to know button combinations there is no button combinations you just simply turn your car like a, a slight air roll and you just keep going into it right and i have the controller on the screen so you guys can see what i'm inputting into the you know using my controller and as you can see i only air roll for like not even a second so it's really not that complex what makes it difficult is your muscle memory isn't that precise yet if you're struggling to line yourself up with the ball that will come with time just keep repeating this just keep repeating that and trust me with so many hours in this game i notice honestly sometimes the less movement you have the better it is because i feel like if obviously if you over rotate overextend anything then it's just not gonna work <laughs> it just becomes harder to adjust so you want to make small adjustments when you go for mechanics so after you get the setup like this all that's left to do now is hit the ball so obviously uh you got to hit the ball with the wheels of your car so you do this right you get your setup and then you turn around now you got to time this right you got to actually air roll when uh it's about time to hit the ball right you don't want to do it too late because then you, you just hit the ball right you end up doing this Right, that's not good. No, we don't want that. Or if you go too early, 
We can do it early, right? Like this, but that's awkward, right? Having to 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 follow the ball upside down like this is much more awkward. And especially for people who are learning flip resets, it's gonna be a lot harder to do. So just be mindful that you have to get this timing right. This comes with time. I, there's really nothing else for me to teach you. It's just timing it, right? You know how fast the car rotates, right? Look how fast it rotates. You have to keep that in mind. So obviously, you're going to have to do this at some point before you touch the ball. All right? So once you line yourself up with the, with the ball, line up, turn, land, right? Now, the funny thing is, you can't just land in any spot on the ball. Right? You can't land like that because you're awkward, right? You can't do that. The best way to land on the ball is when you're ever so slightly under it. Slightly under it. If you're too far under it like this, it's just you end up missing the flip reset. Or if you do get it, you're, the ball is going to be end up like behind you because you're just going to go right past it. But you need to find the sweet spot. I like to think of it as you're trying to scoop it. They land on it right here. So you can always follow it. It's kind of hard, but if you can pause the video right when I land on the ball, scoop. Right? I'm not too far under the ball, right? I You can still see that part of my car is actually in the front of the ball. Or behind the ball, per se. Right? You, you don't want to go too far under. Just, if anything, focus more on being on the face of the ball like that rather than being under it. So all that's left after you get the land is the shot, right? The dodge. I think the dodge is the easy part because all you really need to do is just flip forward. So you can see on my controller, I move the joystick forward and then I cancel the flip by pushing it back down. So again, forward, down. So I cancel the flip. Because watch, watch, watch what happens if I don't cancel the flip. It's fine. You can do it. See? But, um... I cancel my flip every single time when I hit the ball. So, cancel. That's it. That's literally the flip reset. So, that is pretty much it for the single flip reset. Um, if you guys actually want... If this is too uncomfortable, just doing it one time, like, one touch. And then hitting the ball. Like, if that's too, too awkward. I like sometimes, right? If I have the space. I actually like to hit the ball again for like a mini air dribble so i pop the ball up bring it over then get the reset sometimes that will help a ton right if this first setup doesn't look good to you hit the ball again softly and do and do another flip reset there so just there's two ways you can really do it and it depends on the situation right if you have enough space and you want to push the ball closer to the to the net first then you can it's like that or if you feel like you just want to if you're already too close to the net let's say you're already on their side of the field you can just go for a flip reset like that and just you know hit the ball hit it around it. all right so that is it for the first uh type of reset now we got ourselves a double reset so now that you're good enough to do single flip resets consistently got this guy which is a double flip reset i'm not perfect with it but you guys can see throughout the video that i've been doing it so i'm pretty consistent enough where i can teach it um so believe it or not it is actually not as hard as you think for a while i was struggling with this but i found out that the sooner you get the first reset the better so you got to get this the first reset quick and you also have to slightly change where you land on the ball on the first reset. You can be full on straight with the ball. Maybe not, but sometimes if you're lucky it works. But I often try to land on the right side of the ball since I turn left. Right? Like, see, that's, that's awkward and I'm already on the floor. So get the first flip reset when you're still really high up in the air like this. And then land on the right side of the ball. If you're on the left side, right? So I'm on the left side of the field. I'm going to land on the right side of the ball just a little bit. See? And then I dodge to the left. So when I dodge to the left, 
I'll hit the ball again. Now, when you get, when you flip into the ball, your wheels have to be like this. Your wheels have to face the ground. That's the key point here. They have to face the ground. So face the ground, flip, right? So I'll try that again. And you also got a diagonal flip. Right? I mean, I'm still too far away. So get your flip. And then dodge. And you notice I don't hesitate at all. It's one fluid motion. As soon as you see your car position in a normal position, flip. Flip, right? See? I'll do it again. Watch how I time it. Flip. You can uh, do it when you're a little bit off. It depends. Like, there. You can. Like, if you're still, like, in this position, you can flip again. But that's something, again, you'll figure out over time. This is all muscle memory. I told you how to physically do it, but... Ultimately, I can't teach you the muscle memory. I can tell you how to approach it and everything, but... What's left for you to figure out is the muscle memory, right? If you guys all of a sudden had my muscle memory, you'd figure out how it really is. But unfortunately, since you guys are learning this, and I was learning this too, it's typical, right? I could not- I was not able to do this at all at one point. Because I just didn't understand the timing of anything. I didn't know where to land on the ball. You know, it was really hard. So, we all have been uh, bad at one point, right? It is what it is. You'll get better over time. And the more you do this, the faster you'll improve. That's just with anything in life, right? This is no different than getting, than getting better at a regular sport. Or maybe you're, in, you're still in school watching this. Maybe you want to improve your grades, right? All you need to do is just study more. I know it sounds stupid and maybe you don't like studying, but that's just really the truth. I mean, the more you put time into something, you will naturally get better at it, right? That's just inevitable as human nature. We, we improve and adapt over time to what we give ourselves. Same thing with muscle building, right? It just takes time. So same thing with this, building muscle memory, the time these flips right will just take time. So, um, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if there's any other little trick that I can tell you about the double flip reset, but you gotta do this quick. So, like, if you land on the ball, you gotta do it quick. So, land, turn, flip, land, turn, flip. You know what I mean? It's all quick. You don't have time to dilly-dally. That's probably the hard part, too, is that you're just gonna have to do everything quick. But again, muscle memory will help you. Um... I guess in general, for low-ranked players who are attempting to do a single flip reset, you please be comfortable with approaching the ball off the wall like this first. Because if you can't, then you're, just, you're never going to get a flip reset. So, only try this when you're comfortable just doing this. Just doing the setup first. Once you can do that, you can easily hit a flip reset. It's all you're realistically doing, right? It's just landing with your wheels. That's all the difference is. What's the difference between this... Right? With the approach, right? What's the difference between what was before and then this? There's nothing. The same direction, right? You went in the same direction going to the ball. The only difference is, is that you just were upside down. That's literally it. There's nothing more complicated than actually landing the reset than you think. So, honestly, in today's Rocket League game, I feel like the single flip reset is like a basic mechanic. Like, it's a necessity, necessity and fundamental that people have to use in their games like everybody's doing it even people in like diamond are, are hitting flip resets so you gotta really uh learn how to do this if you have any chance uh i mean you don't have to like you don't use it all the time let's face it when i play in my grand champ three lobbies ssl lobbies i'm not hitting flip resets every two seconds it's, it's that's not what i'm saying but I'm, i am saying that you're gonna need to know how to do it though because there are plenty of scenarios where you can go for it and that's when you need to pull it off, right? You don't want to play too basic, because playing too basic means that you're just going to be easy to read. So, uh, yeah. That is it, I believe, for this video. Um, hopefully you guys learned something from this, and hopefully you guys found this pretty useful. 
Um, if you guys have any other questions, then you can put them in the comments. And I respond to people pretty much immediately. So, um, yeah, I'm not those YouTubers where they don't respond to their comments. As long as the comment is good, then I'll respond to it. Um, yeah, so just practice takes time, right? I promise you, when I was learning flip, double flip resets, I saw an improvement in literally just one week. I wasn't this good in one week, but I was actually starting to somewhat consistently hit the double flip reset. Even if it wasn't on target, at least I was getting the reset, right? Just focus on getting the resets properly, whether you're practicing the single flip reset or, or the double. Just practice just getting it right. Don't worry about scoring it in training. You don't need to score it, right? You, the first and most important thing is just getting the mechanic down. Scoring will come naturally as you get better with it anyways. And, and yeah, as you get better controlling the ball and understanding how it is. Because when you, honestly, when you learn a new mechanic, you also learn how the car moves and how the ball moves. Right? You learn how to control the ball in that scenario. So, you're, you're learning more than just the mechanic. You're learning more about the car and you're learning more about the ball. Alright, so enough rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.